Hi friends, uh, welcome in another episode of the derivative. Yeah, in this video, we're going to find out the derivative of the log uh, log x uh, to the base e, right? And uh, in previous videos, we learned the derivative of the trigonometric functions, right? Uh, sorry, trigonometric ra uh, ratios. That's uh, uh, we we find the derivative of the sine x, cos x, tan x, sec sec x, right? Cos sec x, right? And uh, these all we find out. And uh, now in this video, we're going to find out the derivative of the log, right? Logarithm. So uh, now here uh, our given function is here fx is equals to log x to the base e right and we ha here x is greater than 0 that so that's why what we have to prove it here that derivative of the log x to the base e is equals to 1 upon x that we need to prove it here right and uh, so what is exactly the derivative of log to the uh, base uh, uh, log x to the base e uh, uh, le let me show you by this graph right this is exactly the graph of the logarithms right this this uh, we are going to deal with this part right now the the green part right <coughs> so uh, if you wants to find out the derivative at any point is, is suppose at some distance here uh, it may be some distance then it means the same thing right as we are dealing since uh, long right when just the slope at this point right uh, the slope at particular this point is the derivative of this curve right this curve of this log logarithm right now uh, in another way, if he wants to say, it's just the rate of the change of the, uh, right, suppose it's here, uh, it's very small delta y, right, and delta x, or the simply the rate of the change of the uh, function at the this particular point is the derivative exactly. Suppose you are taking over here, then just draw the tangent, and the slope of this tangent at this particular point is the derivative, right? Uh, it may be any value, right? Uh, suppose you want to just, just exactly find out the derivative at here, this at, at x equals to 10, then just draw the tangent over here, and then there will be so much less, right? So delta y and delta x. So the rate of the change of the function at when x tends to 10, right, at this point, right, at this 10 point, is, is, is exactly the derivative, right? Uh, I hope you understand what is exactly the derivative, right, uh, of this function. Now let's let's find out right, and in the definition of the derivative, what we have learned that uh, uh, what we have learned that derivative of any function and we represent by the f prime x is equals to limit when h tends to zero right, uh, h is a small change in x right, <coughs> uh, uh, f of x plus h, f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by H. We have learned this formula, right? And here our given function is uh, f of x is equals to log x to the base e, right? So <coughs> now see, it's a um, uh, this function is just like a machine as we are dealing since long, right? Whatever you insert here, and you get over here in the form of log x, right? Well, if, suppose you are inserting here log. Uh, y then it will be log y to the base e if you're inserting here uh, in the place of it's just a machine and in the in this machine suppose you're inserting uh, something uh, something say uh, some apple right so you'll be getting log e to the base apple right uh, if you insert here log uh, anything it's just a machine you just uh, imagine like this right so here what I'm uh, why I'm giving such examples I'm, I'm going to insert this x plus h so what I will get here when I will insert x plus h I'll be getting log e to the base x plus h right but uh, in in mathematics we are not going to insert x or something like that right but i just give this inform uh, i mean this example uh, to make you understood that when i will insert x plus h uh, what will happen right so don't think in uh, in deeply about those things right so it's just an example to make you understood now le let's come here uh, let's find out the derivative of this our function that's uh, uh, fx right so derivative of the function fx or you can say derivative of log x right to the base e or you can say simply d by dx right here derivative of log x to the base e this all means the same thing right that is uh, limit this all means the same thing that's limit when h tends to 0 f of x plus h right minus fx oh my god just wait uh, i shifted a little bit okay fine uh, let me make a little bit right f of x right whole divided by h right so here mm, okay now again limit when 
h tends to 0 here f of x plus h is equals to log right uh, is equals to log x plus h to the base e minus log fx right this fx is here log x right to the base e and then this whole divided by h right and uh, I want to remember you a formula in logarithm what we have learned exactly right uh, in logarithm there is a formula that uh, log m minus log n is equals to log m divided by n right this is the formula of logarithm I think you are remembering this right and the same thing I'm going to use here. so I'll be getting limit when h tends to 0 right log now see this this x plus h right this uh, let me do it this uh, something bright color this x plus h will work as a m and this x will work as a n so I'll be getting log m to the base n right and then whole divided by h right so now uh, further let me do here oh I'm not getting this so I'm just writing here like in limit when h tends to 0 right log e and now this uh, when I will separate this I will get uh, 1 plus h right divided by x I'll be getting like this right something like this right <coughs> so now uh, again whole divided by h oh my god I'm not giving the place to write uh, okay fine uh, I'm writing some some little this side right fine okay we are going to write over here right now okay now limit right h tends to 0 right log e 1 plus h upon x whole divided by h is there right and what I'm going to do exactly here I'm going to divide it by x right uh, from my side I'm doing this right I'm dividing the best uh, dividing by uh, uh, here X so what I have to do I have to multiply by X also that is 1 upon X I can do like this so when I will cut this X and X I'll get the same value so <coughs> I'm sorry um, I can multiply and divide by this and when I will do so what happen exactly uh, I, I want to go again in the limit chapter in limit chapter what we have learned that limit right uh, when X tends to 0 log 1 plus x divided by x right is equals to 1 right this we had learned sorry uh, uh, this we had learned in, in limit chapter so what here it's going on that h tends to 0 right when s tends to 0 log 1 plus h upon x this whole part is working as a now x and this h upon x is again working as x so log e 1 uh, log 1 plus x divided by x right so it's just like the same right just like this right so now easily what can I do uh, I can uh, I can in the in the in the place of this whole part right in the place of this whole part I can write 1 so uh, it will be now simply right uh, 1 times 1 upon this this x 1 upon x right so what do we get we get 1 upon x our answer right so finally what I can say now easily right over here I'm writing the conclusion that the derivative of the log x to the base e with respect to x is equals to 1 upon x right we get a very good standard formula over here right now we'll be using this formula as a standard uh, as a standard formula and uh, we'll be solving a lot of problem related to the logarithm right and um, for example just I'm giving a small example right suppose uh, <coughs> we need to find out the derivative of suppose uh, we need to find out the derivative uh, suppose this way uh, suppose there is a function right f of x is defined something like this uh, suppose log x to the base suppose uh, mm, 3 okay so we need to find out the derivative of now this right so what is the derivative means f prime x what is the derivative of this or simply derivative dy by dx of log x to the base 3 equals to what we need to find out so as per this formula directly I'm doing here right so derivative of log uh, what is this a uh, log x 
to the base 3 right by dx is equals to simply 1 upon x right so here 1 upon x simply 1 upon uh, x that will be 1 upon x times log e to the power 3 right I'm just converting this so uh, log e to the power 3 I have to write this right so this is our exactly the uh, way to do this uh, way to s find out the derivative right so I hope you understand this kinds of problem and you will be solving a lot of problem related to this right and uh, we'll be meeting in the next videos with a lot of problem right uh, so I will be meeting in the next video bye, -bye.